Except as noted, all text, graphics, sounds, and video content are the intellectual property of Florida Institute of Technology. They were not even a board certified behavior analyst or even a board certified assistant behavior analyst. They were nothing. And not only that, but they had not been trained in the Florida Institute of Bookable Therapy, which was the only institute that taught you how to do bookable therapy. These people were practicing without a license, and they had not been properly trained. How dare they? So this uh, bookable therapist emailed Dr. Boogaboo and copied all his uh, fellow Boogaboo therapists and told them what was happening. And he says, do you know this person? Who are they? We can't find them in any of the registries or any of the, um, uh, that they are licensed in, in the state of Florida here or anything. And they, what turned out, it was one of them says, I know this person, but if I told you who he is, I would have to break confidentiality. Ha ha. I guess it was one of the clients, and I, they figured out that this guy went through Boogaboo therapy and said, hey, I'm a good dancer. Uh, I have taken dancing lessons, and I can get myself an outfit just like the Boogaboo therapist, and I can do Boogaboo therapy. Why shouldn't I? And this person actually was seeing lots of clients. He advertised himself as a bookable therapist, not as a psychologist, not as a mental health counselor, not as a clinical social worker, not as an Irish and family therapist, but as a bookable therapist. So the bookable therapists were incensed, and they went to the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation. They set up an appointment to see uh, the, the person who was in charge of, of, the, of the psychology licensing board. That's what they went to see first, since most of them were psychologists. And they said they wanted to report this people, this person for doing bookable therapists. And it turned out other people were cropping up. And by the time that they had the appointment, there were several other bookable therapists in town. They said, there's these people that are practicing boogaboo therapy, and they're not licensed. And they haven't been trained. Uh, uh, what do we do about it? We can't report them to the licensing board uh, because they're not licensed. Uh, what can we do about it? And they said, well, well the first step is to, to make sure that the uh, practice of boogaboo therapy is one of the practices that's regulated in your licensing act. Let's look at Florida Statute Chapter 490. We'll also look at Florida Statute Chapter 491, which is a related chapter. Because it's, it's, that's, uh, and let me ask you some questions about that. Okay, is bookable therapy uh, psychotherapy? And they all looked, and said, not really, it's so very different that we wouldn't, call it psychotherapy. It's a, it's a new set of procedures that's really not psychotherapy. Well, is it long-term counseling? Oh, no, no. There's no counseling involved. We don't even talk. Uh, okay, well, is it hypnotherapy? Oh, no, no, we don't hypnotize them. Is it sex therapy? Oh, no, 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 we're not doing any sex therapy. If they, uh, maybe if they need Viagra, we'll refer them to the psychiatrist. He prescribes the Viagra. But we don't do any, anything with uh, sex therapy here. Uh, well, we're running out of practices here. How about behavior analysis or behavior modification? No, 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 of course it's not. We don't think so. We're not sure what all that is, but I don't think so. Well, is it cognitive? Behavior therapy? No. Is it just plain old behavior therapy? No. <laughs> and so forth. And they went down a list of all the practices <laughs> that are regulated by Florida Statute Chapter 490 and 491. And it was none of them. It says, well, uh, 
There's nothing in these chapters that would prohibit somebody from practicing boogaboo therapy without a license. 